What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys with another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're having a look at the brand new metal exchange heading into the month of September. So we have uh, once again a pretty awesome array of characters including some special limited time characters that you can only purchase from the Sugo Metal Exchange. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's go right down to the bottom as we can have a look at the limited time characters. So all of these ones you can only purchase for 100 medals and i don't know how many times you can purchase them uh it looks like unlimited amount of times that's kind of crazy i mean i don't know why you do that but you know it's available if you guys want uh in the previous month in the current month of august the Zoro, Nami, and Luffy from the World Journey were also available, so they're making them available again. So I don't know if this is going to be a constant moving forward, where the World Journey characters are always going to be available from the Metal Exchange. If that's the case, that's awesome. So we had the first batch last month, we have another batch heading into this month. I would hope that heading into the month after we get the third batch, which I believe was the one with Crocodile, Boa, and Mihawk. I hope that's the case because I don't have two of those units, so it would be awesome to pick those ones up. But let's just talk about the Reiju and Sanji because we talked about the other three in the previous month. So, with these characters, these are slightly better than the uh, than the characters that you guys would have seen, but um, this is the 4-star version, but they obviously do evolve into a 5-star version. So the captain abilities, you don't need to pay any attention to that, but their, uh, their special ability removes all poison, completely removes blindness, which is pretty rare, also boosting fighter, powerhouse, and slasher characters attack by 1.75 for 2 turns. And if three or more characters on your crew have recovery slots, you double the attack for two turns. So it's just like instead you will get two times boost instead of the 1.75 times boost. So it's not a bad special. I think the utility is kind of nice. Just completely removing blindness and poison. Like that's pretty cool. And then just getting an attack boost on top of it. Unfortunately, not a damage dealing special. So there's kind of niche uses you could do with that. Um, but overall, like Raju is like okay. She's fine, like nothing broken, but she seems okay. And then you have the Sanji, which of course, this is also the 4-star version, does evolve into a 5-star form. And his special changes adjacent slots into recovery, and then boosts fighter powerhouse and slasher character slot effects by 1.75 for 2 turns. And if the HP is below 30%, you get an orb boost for 2 times instead of the 1.75 times. So you can see that these characters work very well together. You got Sanji that can generate an orb boost and give you some recovery slots. And then Reiju, when you have the recovery slots, gives you the better attack boost as well as some utility. So they work well together. Ideally, use them both in the middle row so you can get the best out of it. Or at least Sanji in the middle row. But, I mean, across the board, they're more collector pieces. These are not characters that you're going to really use in a lot of content, you know, around this time period anymore. But, you know, the option is there, it's available, there are 100 medals, which is relatively okay. I think it is still a bit expensive for what the units are, considering, you know, the type of units that these are and how often they're going to see play. 100 is a bit steep, I must admit, but, it, you know, they, it looks like they're going to be available for, uh, you know, at least uh, for, for a very, very long time moving forward, at least. Because it is weird that the World Journey Straw Hats are back. So hopefully we see the next batch moving on into the coming months. Because the batches that follow this one, they actually get progressively better. So hopefully we get those units. Now progressing up from that, we can see that treasure map characters are going to be available this time around too. Which is a bit bizarre. And you know, just the, the choice of these characters is also really weird. I don't actually remember what treasure map squad came out, out on specifically. But his effect, uh, 40 times his attack in dex damage to a single target that goes through defensive effects he makes it easier to land perfects and gives you a 0.5 chain boost for one turn look squad is just terrible i probably wouldn't advise to pick up squad but then we got the hawkins which if i remember correctly i think this guy came out with v2 katakuri i can't remember exactly when this guy debuted but his special ability removes all enemies nullify damage by one turn and he gives your crew a, I, I believe it's a 1.5 times orb boost for one turn but then if your captain is strength or psi, then it's going to give you a 1.5 color affinity as well. So it's not like the best special ever in terms of damage, but removing damage nullification is a huge thing because there's not many characters in the game that can actually do that. So the fact that this character removes it as well as potentially could give you, you know, 1.5 orb, 1.5 affinity, sometimes that may be all that you need because characters with captain abilities these days are so strong. In a lot of instances, a 1.5 orb boost and affinity boost will kill a mini boss. So being able to get around damage immunity with... Uh, 
with his special, I think is actually kind of okay. So the options available if you want to pick him up, it's not the end of the world if you don't get him. Now there is one other list of special characters for 100 medals, which is the uh, the baby Tashigi and the baby Boa Hancock. Now I must admit that these characters, they're really only used for collection purposes. Their specials aren't really amazing, reducing you know cooldown by one for Int. And I believe these characters, I don't even know if they have even uh, crewmate abilities, but uh, either way, you know, they've got this Boa, which provides a health boost or she, yeah, recovering HP and then boosts slot effects for three turns, you know, 1.5 orb boost for three turns. I can't really suggest picking these characters up, honestly. They're just collection pieces. If you like the characters, go ahead and get them. But again, it's not the end of the world if you don't. But let's go ahead and move up to Sugo Fest exclusives. This is what people are really here to see. For 150 medals, you can purchase three times. You've got Zephyr and V1 Katakuri. So let's start with Katakuri, right? Uh, I think this is actually a pretty interesting decision. Um, I'm a big fan of this guy. I mean, you guys have been longtime fans of the channel would know. Uh, I'm, I'm actually one away from rainbowing or getting to level five level limit break for V1 Katakuri. So I'm definitely going to be picking at least one copy up. Uh, but he doesn't have a level limit break yet. But I think that this guy with a level limit break could be pretty insane. I'm really hoping that he gets one in the near future. Um, but honestly, not really much to say about him. He's not a character that sees a lot of play. So I can't really suggest to you guys to pick him up. Unless if you're just, you know, a huge fan of Katakuri. But then you've got Zephyr. Now, I think Zephyr is a very interesting call. Because he just received his level limit break. Which actually makes him pretty strong, actually. It gives him a lot of significant buffs. We can go ahead and pull him up. Um, just to talk about him. So you've got a special ability here with the level limit break that does a 30% health cut and also gives your shooter characters a 2.25 attack boost for three turns and then does 100 times his attack and tap timing bonus damage for three turns. A full board of matching slots through block orbs for your shooter characters. And then if your crew has a rainbow shield on your side of the field, so if you've activated a damage reduction effect, then he does a bunch of utility, removing defense up, rainbow shield, bind and despair, all by three turns. It's a bit of a weird one. I don't know why he specifically has that effect, but he, he gets better and his captain ability obviously gets bigger numbers. And if you go ahead and limit break expand him, he gets a much, much better captain ability as well. I haven't made that leap yet of limit break expanding this guy. I'm more just waiting to see when he gets a super evolution, whenever that is. Once he gets a super evolution, that's probably when I'm going to go ahead and limit break expand him. But it is nice that, you know, a character such as that is going to have his copies available in the metal exchange so if you guys have you know you're really really close to getting him rainbow then potentially that could be something that you want to do or you know level five level limit break but personally he's not a character that's going to see a lot of play anyway so you could probably avoid that one now jumping up to the 250 metal tier we've got two very interesting units here uh probably the stampede luffy's the big one he did also receive a level limit break with the recent batch and he becomes a pretty strong unit and we also have kuzan we'll talk about kuzan first though so kuzan look this character really doesn't see a lot of play now. Uh, maybe with a potential 6 plus level limit break, yes, in the future, for sure, he's going to be amazing with all of these buffs. But as of right now, no, this character is pretty bad. And I would say the only reason you should be picking him up is if you don't have him. Um, but remember, the, the best thing to do is to save your Sugo medals until the end of the month so that you because you, you may pull these units before the end of the month right so it would be a better idea of you know doing any, any pulls that you have to do throughout the month and then right before it's about to leave then you should go ahead and purchase whatever characters you want but honestly kuzan just really does not see a lot of play but as we said we we're talking about stampede luffy uh, luffy with his recent upgrades with his level limit break is very good this is a character that does not have a buffed captain ability through expansion so this is one of these units that even at base level just with the Max dupes available he's going to become an amazing unit so he gets much bigger numbers and when he's below 30 percent hp as a captain giving you a chain multiply boost as well which is very very cool uh 20 damage reduction bigger numbers lots of matching slots very very strong and then a special ability that provides a 3.25 attack and orb boost to himself for two turns gives himself base attack he also buffs any color affinity that gets launched um during the turn you activate his special as well and then, uh, you know, he does a lot of damage. He gives himself a matching slot. He is just a really hard-hitting Psy unit. But that's the thing as well, is that Psy already have a lot of really good assets that I don't really think this is a character that you should really pick up, you know, because Psy already have amazing units. So if you've already got characters like Yamato, Roger, V2 Odin, right... Uh, I don't really think this is a character you're going to really need to pick up. And that's another thing as well, is that all the characters we've talked about thus far, none of them are actually good in Pirate Rumble either. So if you're looking at, at that perspective, then yeah, he's <laughs> none of these units so far are probably worth picking up 
quite yet. But now we can go ahead and talk about the 400 metal tier characters, and this is where things kind of change. This is where you really have to make the hard decisions. Now, luckily though, there is a pretty clear winner in terms of which character you should be picking up, but we'll go through from right to left here. First of all, we have Smoker. Smoke is really bad, um, though I, I could see this guy receiving level limit break probably in the near future. You know, potentially if we get to like Logtown in the Grand Voyage, this could be a character that could receive his level limit break upgrades. So do keep that in mind. Uh, Smoker, on, even on release, was kind of mid. Not a lot of people liked him. But of course, one of the big things about Smoker is his he's got a really good support ability providing an attack boost to quick units. It's pretty awesome to have and has seen lots and lots of play. But then you got Sakazuki. Um, this guy, he was kind of okay on release but he just does not see a lot of play. He's actually very good in Grand Voyage versus Alveda, so I guess if you're looking into doing that, he's a pretty good unit to bring. But then you've also got the, the Nami and Usopp character, which also is a character that really doesn't see a lot of play. I suppose if you recently picked up the Beckman and Lucky Vru from the Super Sugo Fest, then this character would be a pretty nice addition to those types of teams, because I believe the Super Tandem or the Super... Yeah, well, I think, I think the Super Tandem can use an Usopp. I can't remember correctly, probably not, but it can use Yasop. Either way, having an Usopp, having a better shooter unit for those teams is going to be pretty nice. He provides color affinity. He's got uh, utility effects as well. Uh, not a good captain ability in my opinion, but still, the special ability is probably what you want to be focusing on. So not a bad unit to pick up if you picked up Beckman and you still need a good shooter unit alongside them. But then you've got this guy, <laughs> the uh, the Straw Hat Pirates, the One Piece Day of 2021 release Sugo Fest. This is by far and away the best unit to choose from the Sugo medals of September 2022. Because this unit, while the captain doesn't really see a lot of play, the special ability is very valuable, being able to do so many different things. I think it does like 9 or 10 different things, you know, where it's like orb change, damage reduction, attack boost, color affinity, um, you know, beneficial orbs or whatever it is. Uh, like, it does healing, like, it, it, and you can select a debuff, remove 5 turns of it, like... This unit does a lot, and if you're relatively new or you don't have a lot of Sugofest exclusives, this character is going to be one to pick up because you can inject it in a lot of different teams, and it's going to help out in a lot of situations. So I think this is definitely the best unit to pick, and another reason why I say that is because they're actually really good in Pirate Rumble too. Like this is actually a unit that I use in my side team right now. You know, really good Rumble ability and a special that's you know actually okay. It's not the best special ever, but it's usable for sure. So I would say by far and away that the Strap Pirates are the best unit to choose from the Sugo medals. Uh, but then of course, you've got the level limit breaks of Stampede Luffy and Zephyr to worry about that recently came out. So if you're like one copy away from getting them to level five, that may be an investment. Though you should probably wait until the end of the month to pick up the copies. But then from that point onwards, it's about picking up kind of like what you like because like there aren't amazing units here that like really jump off the, off the page here in terms of ones that you should be definitely picking up, aside from the Psy Straw Hat 6-star unit. But with all that being said, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for me. You know, pick up what you really like, but I think I would suggest a lot of you guys to pick up the, the Psy Straw Hats if you haven't picked them up yet. But that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching the video. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.